John chapter 14, verse 1 through 4. This is New American Standard Bible. And it says, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. My, my father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would not have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come to you, gathered in this place, Piney Grove Baptist Church. Dear to our heart, Lord, we gather. As the church door open, Lord, help us to open our heart, open our ears, and listen to you. We hear so many sad news with COVID, without COVID. We say farewell to the dear friend, precious member of the church, precious member of family. Lord, comfort us with your presence. And show us one by one from here to your place. Connect us with your strength and let us see you as this hard time surrounding us. Be with us through this service and continue to be on this holiday season. Remember your purpose unto this house to save our soul, to give us a hope and talk with your presence. Through the service, please and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus, let not your heart be troubled. Comfort and learn that I heard many times in the few months. And many times it just encouraging the people who is in the distress, who is in the sadness. And uh, I talked to Brother. Fred and Christine, they like to come to the church, but they're staying home as this moment. And I was talking to Brother Fred. Brother Fred said, with the tears, it is so hard. So hard to not come into the church and sit in Sunday school and Sunday morning service. But this moment we are separate, this morning I just So excited, this ashtray is in on the grove on the other side. How I many thousand miles? Seven, eight thousand miles away. But to carry the gospel, carry the message, and uh, over there, she must have a Sunday morning service already, like 10 hours ago.
We are blinded by this. The praise. You don't have to sit on a certain place. You know the Baptist. There's a parking lot, there's a bar, and on each pew there's a name tag. It says, don't you ever sit that place. <laughs> Physical binding, we're talking about church. What about uh, at the ministry of Jesus Christ? Three years? Many days they walk together. Many days they so happen in the miracles. But Thomas said, I don't know why you're going. And I don't know how to get to your brain. We limit ourselves because I cannot be the same place here and Brother Fred's house or Miss David's house or any other place. But this Facebook Live we can share this moment all together. Okay, God's what they call communication or live service. It's just everywhere. It's mind boggling. Ashley's church, Ashley's presence. It's a tonight sometime. Already, we are missing the same sameness. But the still, the world is the same, and our God is still the same. Jesus is preparing the disciples. 
Listen, I will go away, but the great way is not sad things. You will follow me. You will see my father. That's a part, last part we just read. But I'll say it one more time. If you don't follow me, you will have no my father. For now, I will go here and have seen him. As this New American Standard put the capital H, him. Almighty God. Now the question which rise by faith. Say that Lord show us the Father. It is not for us. So Jesus tell again to the disciple, listen, how I be so with you. On the shore of Galilee, did I go fishing with you? Did I say I fear the Bible said? Did I say that the lamb will see? The lamb will jump up for joy. Have I been so long with you, yet you have not come to know me? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How do you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? Words that I say to you, I do not speak of my own. My own initiative. But the Father abiding in me does his Work. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Otherwise, believe on the account of the works themselves. Listen, what I did, all the miracles, all the mission, last few years with you, that the work of the Almighty God. Father in me, me in Father. Don't ask me to show the Father. You have to look through. Beyond this place, you have the faith. Connect here, this piney grove, to the heaven above. For Jesus is preparing for us the praise, the praise, with your name on My praise is so good because when you open the front door, there's a golden street, just come right to my praise. That's the song I heard. You have to connect that from this in the carpet. Yes, we are heated up and it's so comfortable here, but from this place to the place above. That's our faith. So the strength can come, even though it is so, so hard. As Brother Fred said, our God is still the same. That's what Jesus said. And John knew about that because his book started out like this. Open the first verse of the book of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. John is the only one who went all the way back to the beginning of this universe, beginning of heaven and earth. And it said, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It's 
skip to the verse 14. And the word became flesh, dwelt among us, and beheld his glory, glory of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and the truth. How about that? God himself dwelt among us. Joel knew the miracles. Joel knew this secret, unknown part. Almighty God created the universe, heaven and the earth. And one day, he was born in the manger. Helpless child, at the same time, he was full of grace full of truth. In Japan, the pandemic, they have thought it's about going down. And the cold season starts, they jump back up. Jump back up like a whole nation has, like, 2000 and they are panicked. 2000 new patient is panic for them. With a half of the population of the United States. The United States have 200,000 in one day new patients. I do not know how the number goes. We look back sometime and see what did happen. But right now we cannot see. But we do our best to protect you, your family, your friends. That's exactly what Brother Fred and Miss Christine is doing. That's exactly what many other people were doing. And I'm trying to follow that the step. But at the same time, listen, John said here, the world became fresh. They walk. Jesus walked with disciples. Jesus went to church with them. Jesus went fishing with them. Jesus ate the supper with them. And all of a sudden, he went on. But the ministry never stopped. We need to remember that as we gather, as we read the Bible, word became fresh. Yes, December 25th, we all celebrate, oh, Jesus came upon the earth. Joy to the world. Glory of God came and dwelt among us. Now, save this joyful moment we should have right now. How? Because Jesus said, believe in me. You see the Father. And you see me. Because I go away, but I am preparing the place. I am with you. So word dwell among us did not stop when Jesus crucified. Dwelt among us then gave us a hope. Through faith in our heart. The verse 18. No man has seen God 
any time. The only begotten who is in the bosom of the Father. He has explained him. Jesus came down full of God's glory, but same time, fullness of the weakness of the human. Just like I am. But his mission, his ministry was so strong reach out to the people. And we try the same way. We try as Jesus Christ, as Christian, as Christ-like. You carry the mission when Jesus starts. Because His grace carries me. He's faithful one. John knew that. So he put verse 12. As many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God. Even to those who believed in his name, Jesus. I like the word received. Like a baby was born to the mother's, mother's breast. Baby is not willing to do anything. But it was in mother's hand. In the hospital nursery room, the beautiful picture is day after day, repeating and repeating. But the same picture is here of John, right? As many as received him, they, he gave the right to become the child of God. In that moment, you accept Jesus Christ. In that very moment, you are the child of God. And Thomas said, don't know the way. Philip says, show the almighty God. And I myself got discouraged because I taped up the pews and the empty seat everywhere. Listen, beyond this limitation, beyond this pandemic, we need to see our mighty God. And we need to take a step by step of the way and truth Jesus Christ. So when it happened, John right it here, many received by Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the one who gave the light to become the child of God. Mm. Open up your heart and examine your life. When? What time? Where the place? When Jesus told you, you are the child of God. No, it's not the church membership. No, it's not the Sunday school attendance. Those are the shattered by 2020. But not the presence of Jesus Christ, not the Almighty God, we worship. Remember the praise, because Jesus said, 
Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. My Father's house are many dwelling places. If were not so, I would have told you. I go prepare a place for you. And if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, that you may be also. Remember his promise. It is true 2,000 years ago. It is true this morning. Let us pray. 